All right, let's watch some dust too. So I've been having some troubles on B-side lately. So let's steal something good that we can see today. Perfect, I had like two rating or something. Even with the utility in pistol round already. Bro, flash, flash, flash. That's a little bit late flash there, but probably electronic didn't ask for it. Another late flash, we're off to a good start. And too early nade. I mean, alright. Let's just kill them by shooting. Fuck the utility, right? Ciao, 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 shit, see? Man, how do they win this? Is simple gonna kill them all? Oh, never mind. <laughs> This is a wild round. Yeah, that was pretty sick. The drop down with the shot there was pretty sick. With USP it makes a lot of sense to do it. I mean, with USP, I'm pretty sure it's really hard to tell if you shoot down here while dropping or shooting up here and faking the drop. If he kept the Glock there, it would, would have been easier for uh, Sirson to notice it, I think. So, props to Perfecto. Don't forget your POV recordings. Do they have to manually do that on Blast? That's weird. All right. All right, this is important. So he he opts to play SMG on, on second round with instant smoke. And it's important to know that the smoke isn't deep because I personally usually, usually, when I have to smoke B instantly, I throw it a little bit deeper um, but I think this makes sense as well. I mean, this is much easier for them to uh, come closer, but at the same time, Perfecto can be anywhere. Like, can be close left, close right. Everything's fine. That was the 16-2 from yesterday. Yes, this is the 16-2 game, so it's going to be pretty uh, stompy game. But I'm okay with that. I mean... I imagine Navi were hitting shots, so I want to say, see how Perfecto plays when he's on fire. Right, he's going to call for bits help a little bit since mid is clear. There was a timing to go B, so good rotation by bit as well. Is mid open? Yeah, electronic is just staring into the wall. <laughs> mid is open. Not anymore. Hi, Sparky. All right, I'm gonna skip this since. Oof. Uh, boom, which is like. This is, he's dodging the bullets, I love it. It was sick that Electronic got the first kill there to take off any attention away from Boomage. If he drops down, I'm pretty sure that uh, BIG would win the trade on long. Alright, alright. Big clan back to the eco, but still having fucking eight flashes or something. They're taking long with it. Oof. Oof. I mean, it's impressive that Xantaris didn't die there. Wait, what did he throw on me? I'm really sure he smoked early. No, no, no. He mulled first, then he smoked. All right. Let's go, Perfecto. I'm challenging the Deagle and Pidis. I would not do that. <laughs> I would get killed already, just like bit did right now. Let's go, let's go. Who do you think is the best team on Nuke currently? Um, it's a really hard question. We haven't practiced Nuke lately, so I've been not paying attention that much to the map. I think Heroic's pretty okay. Um... Complexity is pretty good as well. I mean, we're always playing close against them. Mouse parts, yeah, mouse parts are really good. Frozen is having a really good time outside on both CT and T side. 
and Acre is hitting really good shots and rotations as well. So probably mouse ports lately. Uh, all right, let's go. Perfectos for the first real gun round. He has a spawn for long, so let's see how they take it. I probably know how they. No, actually, I don't. There was different uh, take than they used to. So instant smoke. Holy shit, he survives that? What were the flashes that electronic here? Feels like they... They bought so much time for him to cross there. I'm gonna watch that round again. Just a long... Oh my god, did I really misclick there. Fuck, guys. Fucking demo you... Uh, oh, we're back. Oh yeah. Wait. Somehow I fixed it. Okay, electronic. They had one flash, bought so much time for him. I don't believe this happened. There must have been a team flash then. Or they whiffed. Let's see. Alright, Centaurus didn't really whiff that much. Let's see. I need to see this. I mean, they legit took long with one flash and they made it across. I think this flash flashed them. Oh yeah, it's taps and flash. It's even in the dead notice. So taps and flash too deep that during the fight it actually blinded their teammates. Alright, alright, it makes more sense now, I think. Just real quick, I will confirm it with the taps on. This tool is too <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait, taps on first. Alright. Not the first flash, I think the second flash. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Tapson's flash was... It saved Perfecto and probably Electronic there as well. That was unlucky. Alright, this is kind of a chaos on long. They're gonna be super scared of anyone being still in the smoke. I'm gonna switch for this round to bit. He's get having uh, support from simple. This is pretty standard setup. It seems like uh, BHR saving. All right, so. The difference between Bit and Perfecto is that Perfecto has been smoking, while Bit is smolling usually. Dumped all his nades, which is fine. Uh, since he's playing alone. Pretty good off angle for, for the time of the round. Yep, nothing standard. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. Everything standard for a bit here. I usually die in this position. I hate this. Can't believe people always one tap me. Let's see the reaction. I think it will go close to this moment. Well, not now. After spam. I mean, they're going A pretty much every round. That's a pretty good pop flash from long as well. Can't believe he got the timing on that. Alright, back to the B perfecto. 
face against Navi. Yeah, I might check that. It's perfect to this now as well. Pretty standard routine. When Navi are playing 1B, they immediately dump all of their nades. And the guy who used all the nades is going to play it close. Tomovareski. <laughs> This is this is a setup I saw. I saw. I mean, it's really old setup. I just saw it really working well for Gambit lately. This is exactly the jump check that you want to do. Mm. I think Bit should do it a little bit faster by not walking on the while he's on the ground. But I mean, it, it works well anyway. So play this throwing window flash. It's gonna be hard to retake even though it's 2v2. Never mind. Oh yes. Playing small sides is a challenge most of the times, especially when playing face it and stuff like that. It's really hard to come up with some cool setup with the teammate. In a team environment it's much easier. But at the same time we will face more coordinated rushes and execute, so it has, it has its own trade-offs. So I imagine again Molly HE deep or even close. Now he's gonna smoke and play close while bit comes. Uh, when the smoke will be fading. And by the time that Perfectus nades are gone, the round is already over. It's like 130 and it's again 3v5, 2v5, no 1v5. I haven't seen a Stralis on Dust in a long time. They have double AWP right now, so that's why Bid is starting a little bit closer, I imagine. It's gonna get posted up on the window. There's gonna be an execute coming, let's see how they deal with this. Perfectus usually playing close as always. Now Bit should turn his attention. Yep. I mean... I mean, yeah, like... No one of B.I.G. like first of... Okay, I understand first guy not clearing left. Has to focus elsewhere. But that was, I mean, it was hard for them. They had pistols. Okay, now we smoke first. Don't throw the HE. He's, he's tracing him through the wall. He's cheating. Simple didn't have POV record and got fined. Yeah, when you forget to record POV, on uh, some of the tournaments, then you will get fined. Your team will get fined. Uh, some tournaments does they do it automatically when you use, let's say, ESCA client. But when you split such, such a thing as a blast, then all right, let's throw a molly back. Spam. Uh, it's not that necessary to dump your nades early because uh, you want to play anyway on a B side, close position, and um, if you have nades in a close position, you anyway don't have a time to use them. So you might as well just use all your tools necessary to stop the rush because once you lose B side, it's pretty much round over. So it's not worth saving your utility and probably get like one for one trade. Uh, when then in a 4v4, you're gonna probably lose the round because B is unretakeable that much. So uh, it's okay to use them and then play close position so we have a first contact, or not necessarily a first contact that they will spot you first, but you will have a first fight on B side. 
That means that your teammate will save the nades in case... That was a nice shot there. I mean, he didn't finish off Tapson, but pretty good dink. Um, so the so the second guy that is playing usually further position, like side or backside or outside B, he has the nades in case of an execute while you hear the execute come in from this position or this position or, or this position or car. So stuff like this is pretty important to mention as well. So you have easier time on B. Um, you don't want to basically die with your utility in your pocket, so... And this guy is gonna probably die on any B hit that will happen. He might as well take like three guys with him, which is optimal, or two guys. But... Uh, it's worth getting a chip damage as well with HEs like these. Let's say terrorists are doing something crazy, boosting in the smoke. I personally like to throw it a little bit deeper, but Perfecto seems to go for this shallow nade. <clears throat> alright, alright, he's gonna take care of the Lurk, there's heavy pressure long. Still didn't cross. Ooh, this feels like a round that BIG actually might win. Yeah, definitely looks like one. Unless... I mean, they didn't pick up the AWP from Simple, so... This might be winnable. Holy shit, that actually might be win- Never mind, there's a plank from Cat. Oh, but it's just a Tech-9 and a bad plant. Yeah, this is not happening. Or is it? Okay. Prečo vlastne točiť demo sám za seba? Musí to robiť napríklad aj coach a u neho vidno, že nepoužíva napríklad ten coach pack alebo nejaký iný coach pack. Musíš natáčiť aj ty demo. Proste je to prevencia. How would you anti-strat? It'd be a bit and perfecto setup. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, yeah, um, I didn't think about it yet, but, um, uh, stuff like exploding beer early seems like pretty good counter, like legit going through this smoke and the hope that the Perfecto will be flashed, we get one for one and then we, we hold on to the retake. He seems to play a lot of, um, uh, alone B side in the beginning. He, he, the closest teammate that he had around the, the time that his nades are still up was here, which is, which is like he's really close to help. At the same, but at the same time, you have to imagine that we're gonna probably smoke doors and stuff. So now there was a, the rotation was really far, and it got instantly deleted from uh, dark. Thompson got the skill before the smoke pop. So, one of the things to counter these things is just go together on the off timing. So, while the nade is still up, or let's say that they threw a molly, so you want to wait a little bit, and then one second before the molly goes, uh, I mean dissipates, uh, you smoke it off and you run through it. Or you even get, get a little bit burnt, and you just go through it before, uh, before it goes away completely. So we play with these off timings because clearly he, he and Bit or whoever is the second guy on B is gonna uh, they're gonna have a good solid defense like they understand the timing so you have to play a little bit on the T side with it so it creates an opportunity for you it might look dumb if it didn't work but uh, at this point you're losing one to ten you might as well try something that is out of the ordinary to break them to try to get some consecutive rounds in the uh, in the game Perfecto seems good at isolating the duels yeah, I mean, this is the thing for B side players or small side players or anchors um, <clears throat> you, you play a lot with your angles well, this was dangerous actually, if they push there probably BIG would win the round since he crossed so late. Um, so, this is something that 
is important for beat players. They always play with their angles and try to get 1v1s. In some games, you're gonna have insane times and timings where um, you're gonna hit a lot of these correct peaks and isolate duels. And in some games, you're just gonna struggle and you will have a little bit of a, you know, off timings. Uh, you're gonna miss your first shot, which happens sometimes. Again, we have a beat pop, but this time it's simple close. That was important and simple with the first kill there. But in all honesty, they went before the before the smoke popped here, so it was pretty easy for simple to kill him. Um, so yeah, he is good. Why this late cross? I think it was. I don't know what he was trying to do. Maybe he was waiting for a shot and then jump over, or he wanted to jump over late to mask that they're actually 2B because the first guy will never go uh, this late towards B. So if you're an o, if you think about it, wait, actually let's check that. Did he jump there? So he gets spotted on purpose because he played alone on B side from the beginning. I have to press it one more time. Stopped to wait. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking. So let's see what Perfecto does, and then I will try to explain it. We anyway saw this round already. So he gets the cross smoke, he starts alone B. Yeah, it's. Okay, he didn't even jump over, which is weird. But. Uh... Maybe he was waiting for something like mid pressure. If he would hear like Xbox smoke, he would play close behind the doors, uh, or he would smoke B and go back and play close behind the doors. What I was thinking is that I'm gonna resume, and we already saw this round. What I assumed was happening was that if Oper is here and he didn't shot, he's gonna probably still hold over the smoke. So Perfecto would on purpose jump late over the smoke. So the Oper. This late jump would mean probably that the first guy already crossed and this was the second guy going into B. So he would call that they are in fact 2B, or there's a big probability of being 2B. And uh, while they had still 4A set up. So, a little trick maybe. But uh, I don't know why he stopped there. Right, we, we saw this, let's see it from simple this time. Okay, Tapson with a little whiff there. Imagine Tapson got a kill on on simple here. And then Perfecto would be traded on B and it would be like 2v3 situation. And it would be suddenly favoring BIG. But the fact that Tapson whiffed there, it was like Yeah. It didn't happen. So why am I watching Perfecto? I mean he's a B player, he had a good game. Why not? Uh, I might as well try to learn something. Alright. <clears throat> we didn't see any aggressive B plays with AWP yet. B Bit has a second AWP right now, so let's see if he does something. Okay. <laughs> Just as I mentioned it. Actually, this is a good bait. Yeah, something I've never even thought about. Just now that you pointed this out, like, why did he actually cross later? Well, it's crazy that Santaris went for this kind of flash. But uh, Perfect is a little bit stuck in a shitty position. Boomish probably heard them going lower there. Is Black Trying gonna try to cross? Nah. No. Alright, let's see on B side. What we do. Alright, he blocked them, they decided to go away. Mid setup it is. Ooh. This is such an important kill, they will never check Boomish. I mean they will check him but will they will not expect him so they 
feel full security that they can step on short. Oh. Gun in hand, I mean, knife in the hand, rotate. Santaris is a B player. And he died, so Perfecto knows it's safe. Yeah, pretty good round overall. Again, they. Like. Perfect. I mean, Boomwich and Electronic had a good setup here, just as they had in second round on long, where they were Electronic on the corner, Boomwich behind the doors. As soon as Electronic gets the first kill, that means Boomwich will get at least one more. And uh, Electronic is such a good player that he gets uh, these kills in both of the scenarios. Is there a second dob in play? No, it isn't. It was pretty early nade from Xantaris there. Um, sorry, I don't uh, sample of profiles. Sorry, man. I'm gonna recap what I learned after. I mean, not what I learned, but I, I will try to do more because I kind of like, like it in current meta. Obviously, I knew all this stuff. But sometimes you need to just refresh your memory. Oh, like, uh, sure. Why, why am I not doing this more? This is pretty good uh, combination or whatever. Or setups. I'm gonna mention it after the game. Yo, Chris, thanks for the sub, dog. Uh, feel free to uh, tell me what do you want to see. I can uh, review something for you. If you want to play like simple, just tell me. I will spec him a little bit. Look, would you hit that, Chris? Honestly, I mean, I mean, I don't think so. Or would you? I don't think so. Yeah, oh. uh, you would win this one, me too. Screw simple, right? Subscribe to my channel, assign your profile. <laughs> Chris just came here to snatch away my viewers. Just shows how dense you are. What? Did I say that loud? This is late cross again, but I think I think he was just waiting for the fl Ooh. Alright, they predicted it a little bit with the smoke. Perfecto was always mulling. First time he doesn't, they wanted to go for a B pop. Or like some kind of a B pick. Wait, what? What is this guy doing? Oh my god. That's insane. Alright, this is something I want to talk about because Electronic did something really nice here. Alright, I mean, you should be getting 2-3 kills at this position. Electronic did just fine. He got so much information out of it, but imagine, look, look at which point he's going to shoot the first guy. And it's important that he shoots the AK guy because... I mean, Sirison has a flash in hand, so he will have definitely a time to just kill him before he pulls out op and he tries to no-scope him. But the the fact that he pulled trigger on Xantara's this exact timing is really good because Kito, he will turn the corner in the longhouse before. So he not only has to turn and try to trade um, electronic, he has to also go back and turn the corner. So it gives extra, I don't know, tens of a second uh, for Electronic to adjust in case he would get cleaner kills on these two guys. He would probably have a fair fight against Kakito as well and would win the round on the spot. So look how he's aiming at Xantarius, but with his eyes, I bet he's looking at Kito and waiting for him to turn the corner before he just pulls the trigger. He tried to line up player one and three, right? I mean, it's something that you could do as well. But, um, I mean, lining up players in official game is something that 
it's a split second decision and you don't want to do that if you have, if you're already in a great position you don't want to risk that someone will just go back and uh, spot you randomly while you line up people so look at look at what kaito kito is doing he's gonna turn the corner now while he lines up on the player now he's gonna start shoot when kito in long house just goes in and now he still had a good chance to kill Kito here. Pretty, pretty important detail there. And uh, now they know about one player so far. But they can assume that probably the second one was already long. But that's why the that's why simple is probably not rotating in a better position just yet. Oh, I mean, Perfecto got a lot of kills on the rotations, so. The retakes were really good for him. That's why he was having rating 2. It's not that they hit B a lot, but uh, he had a pretty good... Uh, he had a pretty good um, routines that was pretty... Th they were pretty solid. So, he was throwing a molly first, then HE, and then smoke. So, he was dumping all his nades. But what I what I learned is basic... Okay, I'm going to recap right now. Since we're not going to watch these sides, it's going to end 3-0 real quick. 